One of the men convicted of kidnapping a school bus carrying 26 children in Chowchilla back in 1976 could be released soon by the state of California. CBS 47's Jennifer Ortega spoke to the Madera County District Attorney and she joins us live in the studio. Jen, they're trying to reverse the parole grant. Esteban, the Madera County DA says they're going to try their hardest to keep now 70 year old Frederick Woods behind bars. It's really no reason to be releasing these violent felons back into our community at the rates we're doing it now. 70 year old Frederick Woods has been in prison for 46 years after being convicted of being one of three men who kidnapped dozens of children and a bus driver, then demanded $5 million for ransom. It is the largest kidnapping of its kind in the history of our nation. This happened back in 1976 when Woods was 24 years old. Officials say Woods held a group of children hostage for 16 hours, more than 100 miles away in a sweltering trailer buried at a gravel quarry. These three men, when they left them there, had no intention of coming back. And it's just by the grace of God that they managed to get out and, and save their own lives. Woods was sentenced to seven years to life in prison. And now Sally Moreno, the Madera County DA, says with parole hearings being sped up, Woods could walk free in five months. From where I sit, it seems like um, he has not been a model prisoner. Um, he has misconduct uh, relatively recently in his past, including uh, possession of pornography and possession of cell phones. Morano says the governor doesn't have the power to reverse Woods' grant of parole. The Madera DA says that's because he did not commit a murder. That's why they're requesting all of the parole officers to review the case. These people, uh, they're adults now, you know, um, they shouldn't have to run the risk of running into this man in a supermarket um, when they're out shopping or on vacation. At Wood's most recent hearing, two survivors of the kidnapping spoke in favor of his parole, while multiple others opposed it. That's our last um, and best chance to get a reversal in this case. Otherwise, he will be released. Now, the other two kidnappers in this case have already been released, one in 2012, the other in 2015. The DA's request will be submitted in the next several weeks. If rejected, Woods could be out of prison by this fall. In the studio, Jennifer Ortega, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.